Hey friend, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. All right, we are in the kitchen today preparing some food. So we are going to get things ready for the freezer. We're gonna throw a ton of fun things into our freeze dryer and we're gonna get food ready to use for later. They're gonna last like a whole week longer than it usually does. Where have I been? This is gonna be better to keep our greens to stretch longer during the week. Right now it is Monday. We started this process Saturday night with the freeze dryer. We weren't sure how long it was gonna take to run. Some things take a little longer than others. We are new to the whole freeze drying world and it has been a load of fun. All right, let's start Saturday night in the kitchen prepping some yummy fruit. Oh, wait a minute. Are you ready? Apron's on. Let's go. For $15, we picked up all these yummy strawberries. So we are going to wash them up super, super good and with vinegar and water. And then we will haul them and get the green off and the corn in the middle off. And then we will get them ready for the trays for the freeze dryer. So I'm gonna put some vinegar in this big bowl here. I don't even measure, I just put it in. And, yep. and then we'll add cold water and all of these berries. Okay, we're gonna hold off washing these two because we are going to put enough on these trays because we are going to mash up the bananas that we bought. We didn't buy a whole lot of bananas, so we're gonna mash those, see how much we could fit on the trays, and then fill the rest up with the strawberries. So we started to slice the bananas to put them on the tray and then I was like, you know what, let's do a mashed. So I have bananas for um, banana bread, banana muffins. So we're gonna do these bananas all mashed up. I'm just looking for any bad strawberries. Um, and if they have bruising, we could cut that out. But I'm just looking for like a definite no. That's a no. It's super, super soft and like, yeah. Anything like that, no. Print these off. So I'm gonna try this nifty thing. In fact, I think I got it from one of you a long time ago. So there you go. And that gets the green out, gets the middle. And uh, I'm gonna do that and Derek's gonna slice. We tried to do grapes, you guys. It turned out horrible. We did it wrong. Yeah, we did do it wrong. Live and learn. So there'll be a few trials when freeze drying, but I think it's worth it. Because freeze dried grapes are so sweet and yummy. It's like eating candy. Derek just put on these corner pieces and I'm like, what's that? What does that do? And he put them on. He's like, that way you could stack them when you carry them. And you could just take them all over at once and they're not touching. Stack them in the freezer if you're yeah. freezing. Because sometimes you can freeze things ahead of time and it helps the process. You don't have to. Um, but if you're gonna stack them in your freezer and there's not all the, you know, you get that space. So that is super, super cool. We're slicing up the mango and get it on the trays. Yum. So when you see, you know, that tropical fruit at a good price right now, this is great. You could cut it, freeze, normally freeze it, put it in your freezer or if you have a freeze dryer and you can enjoy this for years to come. Okay, so we have mashed banana, mango, two trays of sliced strawberries, yum, and then a full tray of mashed banana, and they're headed into the freeze dryer. He's taking those spacers off before he puts them in. That is neat. Bananas and the strawberry. I'm excited about that. Actually, I'm excited about the mango. Nice. 
So we're estimating like 15, 18 hours. Yeah, 15, 18 hours. So he's closing that valve. And we'll check on it and see how long it takes. All right, the freeze dryer is doing its thing, so we're gonna do our thing back here in the kitchen. So what we're gonna do next is prepare our lettuce, green beans, and coleslaw. All of these things I picked up recently at Sam's Club. If you'd like to see that haul, I will leave it down below for you. So fun. Did you know fall is coming? Mm -hmm. I feel it in my bones. I can't wait for fall to be here in Sam's Club. Already had some fun things out. Yep, lots of yummy food and treats already for the fall and decorations. So if you're into that, definitely check out that video. All right, so I wanna get going on the big bag of romaine lettuce first. So here is the big bag of romaine hearts. There's six in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these up, wash them in my salad spinner, rinse them off really good, and we're gonna get these in our mason jars to vacuum seal. Sometimes we could go through the romaine very quickly, and other times it's just hard. So you have good intentions during the week and it just doesn't happen. I like to take off this weird top of the romaine. It's, it just tastes very um, strong to me and yeah. So, all right. So I'm gonna cut this in half. All right, let's get this in our salad spinner. All right, I'm gonna wash up these two and then keep going, spin them, and get them in a big bowl. Washed them good, and now I'm gonna get it through the spinner. Now I'll do this process a few times. I wanna get a lot of that moisture off of them. Look at all that. Look at all that water. So we're gonna keep doing this. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna use this big bowl to dump it all in and let's keep going with this process. I used my paper towel to get any liquid that was still on them. Now we're gonna prepare them in our clean mason jars. So you could make a full salad and put it in your jar. If you wanna put your dressing at the bottom, you could put the dressing at the bottom and then your tomatoes and cucumbers and whatever else you put in your salad and then top it with your romaine. But I just wanna put it in here because I'm. we do like chicken salads a lot, chopped salads. Uh, tacos during the week and then I could use this for anything. So I am filling this too right here Okay, fill that up. I'm gonna keep going So as I've done my homework on this people have had their lettuce last over a month in the refrigerator I saw one gal on TikTok who said that her lettuce stayed nice and crisp for three months in a jar like this so if you've been doing this forever, let me know. Ooh, doggy, all right, I have four filled. I'm gonna get the rest of my jars filled with this, and then we'll be good to go. This is what we're gonna use to seal our jars. I got this off Amazon. It came with a pump, so you can use it on most food saver machines with, you're gonna need this. We're gonna put this on our jar, okay? You could use it with your food saver machine or uh, just, it comes with a charger. It's all charged ready to go and we could do it without the machine. And it also comes with um, the jar opener so you can pop the top off. So what I'm gonna do is get my lids on my jars and then you take the one that fits your jar, this is the wide mouth lid and this is the small one. So we're just gonna stick it on here. It goes on super easy, look at that. Super easy. Make sure it gets down all the way. So easy. And then you're gonna stick this on top and it's gonna take like 10 or 15 seconds. Just turn it on and it's gonna get all that air out. Ooh, all right, let's get this off. 
Ooh, yeah, that is sealed, my friends. Woohoo! All right, so you could just keep it in the fridge like this, um, or you could put a lid on the the ring on it. So this jar is ready for the refrigerator. Look at that. Ooh, perfect. Okay, let's do that with all of these. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I have four jars ready to go for us. Okay, so I am gonna put some in a container for dinner tonight, and I'll probably end up doing one more jar. Okay, so I have the rest of the lettuce, the romaine in a bowl for dinner tonight, and I did end up chopping up the rest for tacos later this week, and I did put a paper towel down in this one. I don't know, let's do it with a paper towel in it. So we're gonna put the lid on. Top part. Get this on. Okay. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, we're ready to go. Awesome. So we've got lettuce already chopped up, ready to go for tacos later this week. Or we could even stretch it to two weeks. This is gonna be fun. Okay, here we have some fine French green beans that we got from Sands. I'm gonna rinse these off and get these um, in the jars. This big bag of coleslaw was something else that we got on our Sam's Club run. So we are having coleslaw for dinner tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put half the bag in this bowl for my coleslaw. And I'll prepare this before bed mayo, apple cider vinegar, and sugar. I'll leave the recipe in the description. All right, I'm gonna put that to the side. I'm gonna take our clean jar. I'm gonna put the rest in here. On the menu for later this week, we have fish tacos. And I don't know how you do this without creating a mess. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna have fish tacos and we put coleslaw down at the bottom. That's our crunch in it. And I'm going to put some in our salad that we're gonna have tonight. I'm gonna sprinkle that in. I love doing that. Having the crunch of that in. Love that I finally am doing this and have this because let me tell you, I can't stand it when life just gets busy and you forget to like prepare something or plans change during the week. Oh, I'm not a fan of that and I hate wasting food, so. Woohoo! All right, we have coleslaw for later in the week. All right, let's prepare some fruits and vegetables for the freezer. I like to get used out of my freezer. I love freezing things that are about to go bad or spoiled. Use your freezer, I absolutely love the freezer. If you'd like to see a video on 40 things that freeze well, I'll leave that for you down below. All right, let's get things ready to prep for the freezer. Hey, we are going to work with some corn on the cob. Now I've shared before um, on my channel how you can freeze whole husks of corn. You take some of these off and then you cut them in half. You cut the ends, cut it in the middle and then you can freeze them just like that. I'm preparing getting all the kernels off the cob so I could freeze those and maybe even freeze dry some of them. Okay, I'm gonna husk some of this and then I'll show you how I'm gonna get it off the cob. Here's how I'm gonna do this. Instead of cutting down, I'm going to lay it flat. And I'm just gonna take my knife and get as close to the cob as I can and here we have it. Look at that. Mmm, mmm. I'm already like, I want butter. What do you guys put on your corn? I love salted butter. I've gotta have salted butter. I also love putting bay seasoning on my corn. 
Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. We got at it really good. We're gonna throw that away. And then I'm gonna put all this corn into a bowl. That is looking good. Pick up one of these scrapers. Um, this is, I think I probably got this at either Giggies in Salt Lake or Walmart. But oh, definitely get one. Makes projects like this so nice. Here's our gorgeous corn. Of course, I had to move it into a bigger bowl. <laughs> All right, I am just gonna add this to some freezer bags and we're gonna be good to go. I'm just gonna put them in these Ziploc bags. If I wanted to store them longer in my freezer, I would just put them in my food saver bags, but we're gonna gobble this up and then the next few weeks, so that is okay. So I have two quart size bags I'm gonna start off with uh, and I'm going to measure, I don't know, by cups, this is a half cup that I'm using. Three cups of corn. I'm gonna get the air out as much as I can. And then we'll lay this flat in our freezer. <laughs> and we've got yummy corn. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna put the rest of this in a container that we'll use up for dinner, probably tomorrow night. This is going in the refrigerator, and we have two packets going straight into the freezer, and each bag has three cups. So I had three avocados that I needed to use up very quickly. Took the meat out with a spoon, just scooped it right out, brushed it with some lemon juice to help it not go brown, so we're just gonna cube these up so we have avocado ready to go. I am putting it on this tray to get in the freezer. So I love eating avocado in the morning with eggs, on toast, all of that. Um, if it's cubed like this, I could still take a few cubes and set it out on my plate. It'll thaw out very quickly. Um, and I could still have that in the morning, but I also want to throw some of these in my smoothies. You will be saving so much money and be able to add more to your breakfast, lunch, and uh, to your smoothies. So I'm gonna get these in the freezer for, uh, I'm gonna start them at an hour and then look at them and then we'll pop them in a container or a bag. That I'm just gonna put these in. Keep this in my freezer that's in my pantry, my little one. So in the mornings when I want some avocado with my breakfast, I could take a few out, let it thaw while I'm like doing other things and I can have this with my eggs or I could throw it in my smoothie, but I want to have the option so I'm not putting these with my smoothie packs. Okay, I got my avocado and it's going in the freezer. Perfect for in the mornings. Okay, here's what's left of the mangoes. I'm gonna be working with three. I'm gonna slice them up, scoop them out, and chop them up and get them into some nice cubes onto a tray with some wax paper. And then we're gonna put this in the freezer for a few hours and then we'll start our smoothie packs. Okay, it is pulled out of the freezer, all frozen. Okay, here are our mangoes, all ready to go. Okay, I just got done making 10 smoothie packets. Okay, here is our spinach, our berries, and then some of the mango. And then when the day that I make the packs, I can put in the chia seeds, any protein powders, things like that. You can use quart bags or sandwich bags. I like to use our little bullet, so I'm gonna do sandwich baggies right now and put them in 
into a big freezer gallon Ziploc bag. I'm not even gonna measure or anything. It's just going in. Oh, let's put some of this mango in there. And it is easy as that. Like I said, you could add your chia seeds, anything else that you want to add to this, but I'll just do it the day of. Um, each day I'm I want my cheese seeds, other days I don't. I'll put flaxseed in it, um, pea protein powder, things like that. So I just am picky on that day. So we are gonna just do like this and I'll get them in these. I love having smoothies, but like seriously, every morning taking everything out, ugh, hate it. What do you guys add to your shakes? Do you add things like Greek yogurt? Um, what do you put in? There's so many ways you could do your shakes. One, two, three, four, five smoothie packs ready for the mornings. I'm gonna go stick this in my freezer. I'm gonna get all that air out. Boom, going in. Okay, it has been like 36 hours since our freeze dryer has been going. I think it was because of the mashed bananas. Yes, if it wasn't for the mashed bananas, the mango, the strawberries would have gone a lot quicker, but that's okay. I'm excited to see the results of the mashed bananas. All right, let's head in and grab everything out and get them ready and prepared and put in their bags. So Derek's opening the valve, it's releasing the pressure, comes out of a tube here and he goes in that bucket, I won't show you the bucket, the bucket's nasty. Oh yeah, they're done. I'm gonna eat one. Oh yeah, that is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Is their color a little bit? Yeah, the color goes a little weird. I'll show you in a second, but this is so good. Okay, he's gonna grab all these out and we'll go over to the kitchen counter. So now he's defrosting the machine. All right, it's gonna defrost and then um, it will release water from the tube down into the bucket and, um, and then we'll dry it out and all that fun stuff. So we have our bags from Harvest Right. You can order uh, your own bags, Mylar bags. And then these are the oxygen absorbers that um, fit these bags. I'll have everything for you in the description. You need the right oxygen absorbers for the right bags. So, okay. So we are going to get the strawberries in. Look how those turned out. Oh my gosh. Yum. Okay. Some, um got a brown color but it's all good they didn't go in that way and then there is our mango oh that's gonna be good and then our mashed bananas so for banana bread this is gonna be great oh my goodness mango you hear that the mango was really good Derek it just melts in your mouth oh this is better than candy you know, we actually did freeze dry candy. We did that the end of the school year last year. Our youngest daughter with homeschool was able to be part of a, um, like a community uh, market so she could learn how to sell and uh, it was great. And at the end they, there was like a contest and it was so great, she learned so much. So she had her own freeze drying candy business. So we did Jolly Ranchers, Skittles, Starbursts. Milk oh, Milk Duds. And yeah, Rolos. Oh, and we did ice cream sandwiches. You guys, try ice cream sandwiches in your freeze dryer. 
They are so good. It's like, it reminds me of astronaut food. When I was a kid, I would always go to um, the Boston Museum of Science for a field trip. And I always went over to the gift shop to the astronaut food section and I would always get the ice cream. So we do gotta write the name and the date on it. But Derek put the strawberries in there with the oxygen absorber. And boom. And this nifty machine helps seals it. Okay, this just popped right off. Look at that. Banana, mashed banana. All right, I'm gonna taste the banana. That is good. That is good. Mm. So let me uh, reconstitute some of this for you so you can see just how fast it is, just how delicious it is. Okay, we have two ounces of the dried mashed banana. And we have a half a cup of warm water going in. This one, we're just not sure how much water because we want our mushed banana, you know. We don't want to like get it too watery. We got some bigger chunks in here. Yeah, there are some bigger chunks, so they're gonna absorb more water. So we're gonna let it sit for a minute and we will have mashed banana. Okay, here I have some water in a bowl and we're gonna add our strawberries in. They're gonna absorb that. This won't take long at all. And then we're gonna have yummy strawberries. Okay, the banana is done. You have mashed banana for banana bread. Yum. Okay, I gotta taste this. Mmm. Oh yeah. So good. You guys, you can make your own baby food. Oh my gosh, that wouldn't that be great to have on hand? Okay, here is our strawberries. They sat in the water for like literally a minute. You could slice them up, use it in cakes. You can use them, um, strawberry shortcake, cheesecake. Look at this. Mmm. <laughs> Strawberry. Strawberry! So good! Mmm. We're driving all the dogs crazy with everything we're doing today. But, yum. Tastes just as good as when we started the process. It's a lot of work, but it all pays off. It really does. Okay, if you actually know how to freeze dry, please leave me your tips down below. We have been trying out our freeze dryer for a couple of months now. Uh, like I said, we did the candy, the ice cream. It is a learning curve, but I'm telling you, it saves you so much money. I have noticed for our budget that it's actually cheaper to invest in a freeze dryer, learn this new skill, which is so cool, and be able to build your food storage long-term and short-term. So it's, it's, it's such a cool thing. We are learning so, so much, um, and it is definitely worth the investment. If you would like to look into a Harvest Right freeze dryer, I will leave um, my link down below for it. Um, I did sign up to be an affiliate because it, they're, they're incredible. They're just incredible. So I do have an affiliate link for you down below if you're interested. Now, I know you're gonna ask, is it you know, more expensive with the electricity bill. We looked at it and it is not any different than running your refrigerator or freezer. So take that into consideration as well. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today. Let me know what you're working on in your kitchen. What are you doing to stock your pantry, your freezer, your food storage? What are you working on? I would love to know. Thank you so much for joining me, friends, and we will see you soon. Bye.